Hello, everybody. It's here. We're going to be printing some of my own personal training online and getting the channel back to uh, kind of going along with my journey and my work uh, towards chess. And uh, this is on Chess Tempo, by the way. It's a great site. Try it out. I'm sure a lot of you know about it already. Uh, you can set up a free account and try it out. You can do normal tactics, uh, end game practice like this. You can also do uh, guess the move from Grandmaster Games, all that kind of stuff. So give it a shot one day if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to go to the next problem here. All right. So I'm black and pretty close to promotion. Um, I'm pretty sure I can just push the pawn in this position and come here. And I can probably just do rook. I could probably just do rook here. Takes one move longer to mate, but it will work. Okay, so that one was right. Let's go to the next one. Okay, got to stop the prawn from promoting this time. Let's get the king behind there. Um, oh yeah, dance the queen down. So it's taking one move longer. But can at least get behind the pawn here. Takes two moves longer to mate. So the goal is to try to find the quickest way to mate, I guess. But um, if as long as you select a move that uh, doesn't lose the position or create a draw, um, it still considers it's right. You get a higher score if you um, pick the strongest possible move in the position. Um. <clears throat> Well, this bishop's annoying, isn't it, for black? Um, now, what would be the strongest move in this position, though? Yeah, I've got the check available. Unfortunately, though, the king gets into eight, and it can just kind of bounce around once I take the promotion. So I want to try to stop that, I think. Let's just work this out. So bishop check, king to uh, b8. It's going to promote at some point, probably the move after. Then I lose the bishop. So I'm not sure really where where I want my king to be. Hmm. Ideally, I want my king to be... Well, I think I want my king to be closer, so I'm going to go with king to b5, and then, let's see, bishop here now, get the king even closer, oh, I, what, what's going on here? Oh, that, this pawn hasn't even moved from the beginning of the game. What the heck? Okay. There we go. Got that right. For some reason, I thought his pawn was one one step closer to promotion. However, I did not look at the coordinates. <laughs> All right, next problem. Um... Interesting. Okay, so now this is definitely the promotion square for this pawn. So the strongest move in this position for a win would be probably queen to g7 check. King to b8, we have mate, and if king to a6, we have check, and we can just take the knight. That looks right. Um, okay, I did not factor in this knight move here like an idiot, um, so that's not good. Hmm. 
Well, I'm just going to keep the pin going, I guess. Hit the check here. Come in here. There. Take that. And just work the king over. Um. Okay, there's that one. I didn't get a good score on that one. No, that was like completely messed up. Um, let's see. I'm not sure if you can see the line, actually. I think that was my move, so... Not sure where it says the correct move. Oh, well. We still won, but not in a pretty way. Okay, so... Uh, we're black. This is our promotion square. I think we can just take the knight, obviously. Take the knight. And now we got to protect the pawn. Let's see, if I push, the king has to come here, so then I can come into g2. That looks to be about the right way to go. Oh, no, I can't come into g2. Gain opposition. There we go. Okay, got that one right. I don't think I missed any moves on that one. Uh, bishop 2, f3. That is definitely an annoying bishop. Um... See, I think it's queen check here, followed by king to c7. Would be the way to go about it. And then we have mate here. Yeah, okay. By the way, post in the video if you get the answers quicker. Um, okay, I like the pin. I always like pins um, when you have pawns versus kings. Um, so I have to, I'll force him to move off if I just keep that pin and I can take this one. But is that the strongest move? Um, I think so, because if I come in with the king to d3, he just has check. So yeah, I think just taking the pawn is probably best. Yep, that's right. Okay. Okay, so this is the promotion square right here for black. Um, don't really have to worry about that pawn too terribly much. Uh, let's see here. You know, I can probably just make use of this pawn moving down the board. So I can actually come down. Queen check. If king goes into h1, I should be able to play queen to f2 and then get my king down there. That's one option. Um, another option is queen here to g7. But yeah, I, I can take the pawn here, but I still have to deal with uh, the king on g1 or g2. So I kind of like this move. Okay, so that takes two moves longer to win the game, so that can't be good. Okay, so now I just got to get the king away from the pawn. Okay, so I got that right, but lost a little bit there. I really don't care about the ratings on tactics. Um, as long as I understand what the heck's going on, I'm a happy camper. Uh, rook to a8. <clears throat> okay, so if I move my rook here, he can check. But that should be okay. Because I've got this move here. 
Now we can just promote. Okay, next problem. Okay, this is a pawn race, which clearly I can win. So I'm just going to push. Push like a beast. Promote. Now, try to find the strongest move in this position. I think the strongest move in this position, in my opinion, would be just clean here. And then just kind of uh, maneuver my way over. Um, we've also got queen check here. Got queen check here. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm not going to get the strongest move here. <clears throat> I've also got time to move my king a little bit closer too, but... What about just queen to f6 first? King can't come to b2. Yes, he can push the pawn, but then I just come in here. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Just like that. And then bring my king into the action. Give me that pawn. Okay, yeah, we got it right. Uh, next problem. We'll do a few more. Um, how long have I been doing now? About 15 minutes. I've already done my normal tactics for today, so I'll try to get 20, 25 minutes maybe out of this. Um, just got to watch out for stalemate here. Make sure that king has a square. So I can bring my king down. Okay, so that took one move longer to me, unfortunately. I want to keep the pin. Pin's good, pin's good. Hmm. Just, just do that. I hate taking. I hate it when I get like one move longer to mate. <laughs> Irks me. It means I'm not finding the best moves in the position, which I guess is why you work at this stuff. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. So you got not much uh, points for that one. By the way, let, actually, you know what? I was going to say let me know if you guys, um, you know, like this idea for, for the channel. But I, I really got to do it. Like, I mean, it helps motivate me to do my tactics. And I'll, I'll be doing the normal tactics as well. But um, I don't know if I'll be doing them every night that I do them. But I want to get uh, get back into the swing of uh, my just kind of recording my chest development here. So, king to e2. His promotion square. So, a1 is right here. So, he's close. Um, yeah, once again, I like queen to e5. Well, maybe not. Queen to e5, king to a1. Um, no, I don't think so. Maybe I gotta hit the check first. Four moves longer to me. Oh my gosh. That's not good. But now I can do this. No, I can't. He can just go back to A2. Can't do that. So I guess I just gotta kinda hit some checks here. Um that would stop him from going. Let's see. You can put the king back. Okay, so I can just come in here like that now. Okay, so at least I didn't get a negative score for that, but that wasn't very good. Okay, king to f6. Um, 
You can't just play rook to g7 because then he's got check. So I've got to get his king off of this square. Otherwise, it's mate. Takes four moves longer to mate. Actually, I should have brought it up to the fourth rank first. That was probably my mistake. Because now he's got rook checks all over the place, so... Hmm. Maybe I can do that now. Oh man, I lost that one. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at it here. So RG6 check, mate in 19. So can I click that? RE6 check. Where's the where was the starting position? Okay, so R Okay, so King G8, mate in 16. Because my rook was protecting me. What was I thinking about there, though? So, here I was thinking check on b8. And then the king. Oh, well, let's just let's check it out. So, so there's the rook check. Um, yeah, no, no, that's not right. Oh yeah, okay, just promote. <laughs> what am I thinking about there? Oh my gosh, I was thinking way too hard on that one. All right, next problem. Okay, king to f7, and I've got to get the king away from the promotion square. And he's still got a pawn too, so you know what? Maybe I can keep my pawn here on the g-file. Let's see. Okay, so that was good. Something like that. Maybe. Okay, so that takes two moves longer to mate. Um, let's see here. Knight here. Check. Doesn't look very good at all. Okay, so he can have the knight, and we can just promote that way. Okay, next problem. We'll do it for a few. We'll do a few more here. All right, so now we got to stop the promotion of the pawn with the rook. Um, let's see here. I don't like king check on c8. King comes here, I can bring my king into the action. I think that's pretty decent. Two moves longer to mate that way. I wonder what the stronger move was. Um, doesn't really matter now, but we get the pawn. So let's go to the start here. I just want to see what was the best. Rook c8 check we played King D5 okay so just gaining opposition and then if King here then we just come in with our King here and we can we can light it up even quicker okay two more let's do two more what what's going on here this is this this can't even count oh <laughs> <laughs> I got, I didn't get the strongest move. How sad is that? I still was clearly winning, but uh, let's go back to the beginning. Look at all those potential losing moves, eh? Um, King F6, mate in 11. Okay, so gaining opposition again, just right off the bat. And I just played, uh, okay. Well, it's good to know, good to think about. Moving a little too quick. 
Hey, that was pretty quick. Let's do another one. Okay, so I'm going to try to find the quickest way to mate in this position. Um, how about... I'm thinking queen to c5. He's got to go either to um, his home rank or he's got to go... Yeah, so I think c5, queen to c5 is the best here because then I isolate the, the king. Okay, and then here, don't want to stalemate him. So I think here I can just keep him busy, bring the king in. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, strongest move. I'm thinking queen to h2 is the strongest move. Like, i got to be careful of how I bring my king into the position. Can't come here if the queen's on h2. Because then it's just epic forkdom. Yeah, I think this looks pretty reasonable. Because if knight up here to g4, I just take the pawn, right? Nine moves longer to mate. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't make that mistake. Come this way. I can't come that way. Um. Yeah, now I gotta go this way. <clears throat> okay, that was not good. <clears throat> I gotta bring the. Uh, hold on here. Hold on. Oh, let's gain position. Hmm. Not good at all. Two moves longer to mate. In check. In check. Oh, I failed the problem too. Wow. Um, let's go back here to the beginning. So clearly, uh, did not get that. So it was a main in four. Okay, so king to e3. Why did I not look at king to e3? Because we're threatening mate right away. King to e3. And then where does the knight go after that? King to e3. There's a knight check there, but then what? And we can just come over here. And we're still threatening mate. Okay, well let's let's flip through it here. No, no, I'm not gonna flip through it. I'm gonna try to visualize this. So king to e3. If I was black, I know I would play knight check on d1. So knight check on d1. Then d3, knight check on d1. King to f3. But he's still covering the promo. Oh, king to f3. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing it here. Okay, let's take a look here. So the knight comes back. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. It's kind of it's oh, I can just use these arrows. That's a little better. Okay, so king t3. Queen takes check. Check. Meet. Okay. So I missed that one. Can't end the video on one I got wrong. You got to do one more. <laughs> <laughs> um, I 
the bet the strongest move. Well, I like I like queen check on b7 and then king f6. Um, what else do I got here? Got queen a8. King has to move here. My king comes in. Oh, that wouldn't that wouldn't work out. So yeah, I think I think that's the one. Okay, so that takes five moves longer to me. Still winning, but five moves. Oh my gosh. And granted, they're not super hard to find moves, but still five moves. Okay, it's got. I gotta go on a green one. I gotta end on a green one. Um. All right. So where's my promotion score? Are we up here? So the rook wants to come in. Let's see here. Strongest move. I can just start pushing. I know that much, but. Hmm. I don't know, I kind of like rook to to b8, and then if rook check here, and it's king here, and then what's his rook going to do? Nothing much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. So it takes two moves longer to mate. I just go here, and then I can... Uh... What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Just go here, man. That's what you move the rook for. Takes four moves longer to mate. Um. Okay, so that one was eh, still winning, but I wanted to find out the better move. Let's see here. Let's go back one move. So g6 made in 20. So just pushing the pawn right away. And then rook check, and then taking that away, pushing the pawn, check. Yeah, there we go. So still winning, but <clears throat> that that's not what counts. <laughs> In my opinion, I, I just finding the strongest move is the way to go. Um okay, so we're black. Our promotion square is over here. Uh, I don't see any reason why we need to you know, sack our, our bishop here. So, I guess probably the best spot for the bishop would be on, uh, that's where I would put it, c1. It takes five moves longer to mate. Um, in here. Yeah, I can still go. Oh, no, I lost on that one. It's a draw. E2 is a draw. Uh, bishop to h6. Okay, so let's see why that's a draw. Oh, the fork at the end. Yeah, I missed that one. Alright, so... I gotta end on green, guys. <laughs> gotta end on green. Um, Look at my rook here. Like a champ. Um, champ getting ready to die. I'm pretty sure I can just play rook to uh, d1 here, though. Take 
takes five moves longer to mate. Of course it takes five moves longer to mate. Like it's gonna happen. Take its checks away. Promote. Okay. Found the winning line, but it ain't the strongest winning line. Well, let's just go back to the beginning for a second here. So it was off by five moves. So I, these were the so out of all the possible mates, I found the fifth and sixth of seventh worst possible move. Didn't pick a drawing move, but I didn't pick any of the the good moves. So let's look at the good move. Uh, best possible move was king to d1. And then Rick comes over. Let's go back one move here. King to d1. Rick comes over and we just promote right away. And then work towards the mate. Okay.